go what what guys what 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 whoa 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 stop 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 oh my gosh hey what's up guys double a 12 year and welcome back to another awesome minecraft video for you guys today Today, guys, we are going to be exploring more of my abandoned super old worlds in Minecraft. But right before we get started in today's awesome video, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that like button down below, that would be absolutely insane. If we can get maybe two likes for today's crazy awesome Minecraft videos, that would be absolutely awesome. So go down there and slap that like button down there below. Let's see if we can get two likes. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to join the AA Army today by subscribing as well as turning on those notifications so you guys will never have to miss a brand new video guys so let's get started and see what is up anyways guys first things first um we're actually gonna be showcasing two of my abandoned worlds today the ones i showed you guys in the very first video and these two worlds are very old let's play worlds uh, and all that and yeah that's just some info and one thing that i did notice in this world do you guys see the animals why are the animals acting all weird what the okay wait why, what, what's going on, guys? I actually don't know what's going on. Are all the animals like this? Are you guys like, oh my gosh, what? Okay, just to show you guys right now, if we go into settings, I already turned cheats on and all that just to make things a little bit easier for us. If I go into resource packs and behavior packs, if you guys look, there are literally no resource or behavior packs applied onto this world. So, I don't know what's going on with these guys. Some of them are just like, do you I don't know okay so a little bit of info this world was literally created when 0.9.0 came out so maybe that's what caused it but let me know what you guys think about these uh animals doing weird stuff man because I promise you guys when I was still doing this world as a series the animals weren't doing that see some of them are normal and some of them are just super hyperactive that I don't understand what's going on like they literally had 10 cups of coffee this morning and I don't know what's happening okay guys but okay you know what that doesn't matter let's showcase the world guys so over here is my very first house I made on this world. Now, the reason I use a bunch of diorite and andesite and all that, I think because those blocks were, like, fairly new to the game, and this is just, you know, like, a basic house. If I go inside, it, it literally looks like a basic house, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on a bed here. Um, again, some updates literally just broke trap doors, and they go in really weird positions now, guys. I really don't know what else to say. So, uh, can I pick... Do I, I don't have enough room in my inventory, do I? Okay, let me, uh, pick that up, pick that up, uh, put this here, and there do we go, voila, and, um... Yeah, and I made a basement for no reason. Again, I was just playing with the new blocks at the time. These blocks literally came out in 0.9, so I was like, hey, let me uh, test them out. So do I have any? Oh, I have some glass in here. And oh my gosh, dude, these animals are so distracting. If you guys know what's up with that, let me know. Hopefully, we don't have that issue in the old world or in the next old world that we're going to showcase. But um, so yeah, it kind of shows that literally this world was created back when stone cutters were still a thing. And oh, I have baked potatoes. Thank you, A12 from the past who made baked potatoes for whatever reason. All right, so then uh, Around here is, you know, my automatic cactus farms over here. You guys see how it is. Again, I haven't touched this world in uh, years, but for some reason, I, I I made an automatic cactus farm back then, and uh, it looks like it doesn't really work too well, as I don't see anything too interesting. Over here, there's a wheat farm. Over there is a doghouse. It doesn't look too interesting, so we're going to look I'm just kidding. The doghouse probably looks really good. I don't remember who it was. But I think me and a friend literally built this together. It was a single player let's play, but I did this thing where I used to invite other YouTubers to help me build stuff. And we came up with this doghouse together. So, uh, yeah, le let me know what you guys think about the doghouse. I think it's honestly one of the most beautiful doghouses I've ever made in my life, man. So, yeah, and these animals are just going crazy. Um, over here is just a small farm area I made. We got the pigs, we got the sheep, we got, I think, both supposed to be cows. I never ended up, like, doing them. What is wrong with you guys? Why are you guys moving so fast? Okay, I, I don't know what's up with the behaviors, guys. They're going weird. And over here is an old automatic, uh, farm. This is back before redstone existed, so I literally always had to do this. You guys, okay, wait, wait, let me just make sure I don't break the stone behind it. And the water comes through, and there we go. Again, right before redstone, we had redstone alternatives, so, uh... Let me know what you guys think about this, and what is up with these mobs, guys? I don't understand, like, guys, guys, okay, wait, wait, maybe if we did this, effect, uh, at, E, clear, and maybe, no, 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 they literally don't have effects, they're literally just going crazy for no reason, um, alright, that's, 
good to know, or not good to know, I don't know what's up with this world, guys, and over here is back when, you know, nether reactors were a thing, I activated a nether reactor literally right here, and I was collecting nether rack from it, it because if you guys can't tell, the size did go a lot smaller, and do I have more torches? You know, we can make torches, what am I doing? Okay, there we go, and, uh, there we go, and I hear a zombie, oh, no, the husk, were husk even a thing in back then? I, I don't remember if husk existed back when this world was first created, and we have a uh, skeleton jockey just coming around. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay, guys, I'm trying to showcase a world. Could you guys, like, move? Okay, thank goodness these mobs aren't going crazy right now. There we go. Thank you very much. And, okay, now I can kind of showcase this area. Or, or not, or not. These guys really just want to, you know, come at my neck for no reason. All right, there we go. But, yeah, so... Here we go, a really awesome nether reactor thing over here, alright, so, uh, yeah, so, I know it looks kind of plain right now, like, it looks like I was just building all over, but like I said, what is up with that, okay, I don't know what's up with this world, that creeper's going crazy, if you guys, again, if you guys know what's going on, let me know in the comments, but, as of right now, A12 is so confused of what's going on, but as you guys can see, um, I didn't really build anything too big, too, um, outstanding, at least in this area, okay, um, in this direction, we actually spawned literally right next to a village, so unfortunately didn't have a blacksmith and all that. It was, it was exciting because villages first came out into the game when I made this Let's Play, so that was awesome, but what wasn't exciting was there was no blacksmith, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, okay, so what we gotta do now for what Guys, do you see that? Whenever I break these grass, like, tall grass, sunflowers come out. What the heck? Okay, this world literally hasn't been touched in so long. It is having so many glitches. What? Do you guys see this? I'm literally breaking tall grass and, like, sunflowers come down. How old is this world that this world is, like, confusing? What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Forget all that aside. Forget all that aside. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. We're gonna head in this direction. Because in this direction is actually my, uh newer base because i had two bases here one there and i decided to move this direction and you guys will see this one this one's actually gonna be cool guys i think you guys will like it so let's go this way all right guys so we're getting a little closer to the base but i want to show you guys something that i built for literally no reason guys like no reason at all um and again these mobs are going crazy i built like a giant heart here like i remember when i did this i was literally doing nothing of importance and for some reason i built a heart like i literally built a heart like check this out okay it's not like the best looking heart in the world but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys love it, like it. I, I don't know. I, I built a heart. That's all that matters. And a spider's trying to attack me. And this guy literally has super speed. Again, if any of you guys know what causes this, let me know. Like, I didn't think this world would actually have something weird going on. But, but clearly, mobs want to be all super fast and all that. Okay. But anyways, in this direction, as you can see, more builds are actually made in this direction. So, whoa, Mr. Spider, what? Go, what? What? Guys, what? 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 Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 Stop! 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 Oh my gosh! Stop! Stop! Okay. That is actually pretty dangerous. Um, I don't... I don't know what to say. But get... Okay, okay, we're running away, we're running away, okay, so I can showcase this part to you guys, so, over here, I actually built a barn, like, this is where I started making, like, uh, stuff in the new base, as you guys will see in a minute, over here, I have a barn, guys, and over there is my, uh, newer base, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, so, uh, I basically built a barn over here, I was gonna plan on, you know, putting animals in there, as you guys can see, some sheep are actually already here, but, yeah, there's also an upstairs, really not much else to say about this place, but, uh, let me know what you guys think. As you guys can see, I did have a bed over here just because, you know, whenever I need to skip the night and all that. So, uh, I don't know, that's the thing, guys. I really don't know what else to say about this besides that. We also have a few dogs which don't work anymore, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what? Did I just tame you? Wait, I already had you guys. Did I have to retame you guys? Okay, this world is, like, so old, a lot of glitches are going on. I think over here I actually do have a, uh, pet cemetery. Um, one of my dogs did die, but it looks like I... Another my dog died, guys. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on with this world, but a lot of weird stuff is happening. Let me know, again, if what you guys think, because I really didn't know my world would actually be this weird. Is this what happens when, like, your world is, like, so old, man? Like, oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, guys, this was the new base that I created a little later on in the Let's Play. It took me a while to make. I had to put, like, a bunch of sand down and dig that sand out in order to, uh, you know, 
make like this whole circular area but i guess i'll show you guys everything first okay so right here jack o lanterns on the ground for lighting looks like we're gonna have to tame these guys again so i'm gonna take both of you thank you guys very much uh we have a nice fountain in the middle to you know showcase how to get down we have a awesome farm area over here which i'm gonna go into in a minute over here was a our mob trap i don't know if it still works um probably not i believe i can check if it still works i don't know guys i don't know like i said i haven't touched this world in forever i don't know if this mob trap design even still works anymore but if it does that be kind of cool and uh all right i don't see anything doing anything weird so we're gonna put this back here there we go all right but uh yeah that's the thing and i remember fishes weren't even a thing in the water back then like all that over there as you guys can see if i look into water there's no like seaweed or anything growing out so you guys can tell how old this world is just by kind of looking over here okay so um let's go in the actual base itself by the way stone cutter that's how you can tell how old the world is and i remember i would put furnaces like over here in every corner just you know help me make the glass you know for um this whole thing and i think i did pretty good with the glass but anyways okay Let's go in the actual base itself. In order to get into the actual base, all you guys had to do was get in this water, and voila, you're in the base. In each corner, there were chests. I actually really liked how I made this base. Like, I was actually organized. Oh my gosh, no way. We actually have another reactor core. That's how old this world is, guys. We have another reactor core in this world. Okay. Wow, I did not expect to see one of those. Um, this is where all our mining stuff is, as you guys can see. We have a lot of gold, iron, and all that. A few diamonds, nothing too interesting, but I was actually pretty organized. Like, right now, I couldn't tell you where things were, but, you know, the fact that things are somewhat organized is actually pretty impressive, guys. So, let me know what you guys think about that. And, um, there's also a downstairs area to this place. I'm just going to show you guys all these first. All right, wait, do I have... Okay, I thought I had enough. Okay, so this was before the nether. That's right, okay. So if you go down here, this is actually another downstairs area. I like how I did the fire here, like, literally right underneath the, um, slab over here. It prevents, you know, like, and I think there's another rack under there, so the fire goes on forever. But because the slab is here, I'll never be able to touch the fire, so, yeah. And also, we have, um, mob drops coming down here, too, so. Just, just saying, just saying, guys. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Over here is the direction to my farm. I really like what I did here, you know, separating the, uh, water from coming in here. I don't know if this method still works, but if it does, that'd be pretty cool. Um, as you guys can see, the way to get up from here is just go up this water elevator, and each level has a different type of, um, you know, uh, crop and all that, and over here would be our watermelon seeds, and I'm pretty sure melons were, like, my number one food source, because, you know, <laughs> they're just so easy and all that, and, um, yeah. And I guess the, that's really it for this world, guys. Like, that, the reason we're showcasing two worlds today is because we can literally showcase this world in, like, under a minute. But, um, I'm going to show you guys one more thing about this world. If you guys go all the way down here, I actually made my, uh, mining system here. Like, when I go strip mining and all that, I kind of made it, like, you know, I decided I was going to make it over here. And let's, let me just show you guys, all right? So, um... Okay, just, like, just hurry up. Yeah, this is where I decided to go do my strip mining and all that. And I don't know. Yeah, I just decided to do this for some reason. I thought, hey, you know what? I had a big hole going underground. Might as well take advantage of it, you know? All right. But anyways, guys, that's really it for this world. Now we're going to go into my next Let's Play world, which was literally the Let's Play I created right after this one. So, um, let's go. All right, guys. Here we are in my other Let's Play play world ladies and gentlemen and i think this is a 0.12.0 let's play that went beyond that and as you guys can see i am in an acacia biome so um let's get started with the showcase of this world it looks like the mobs here aren't all weird which i'm actually you know grateful for and ooh, i actually have enchanted stuff that's right enchantments came on 0.12 wow has it really been that long since we had enchantments in bedrock edition guys oh my and i I, I can't make my shots. There we go. Made one. Made one. Okay. You know what? Let's get let's get started on the showcase. So as you guys can see, with this one, I kind of went for an enclosed kind of base with using the walls, you know, separate us from the mobs and all that. And I have a big tree farm literally just within the base. So basically what I would do is I would cut the trees down with whatever axe I would have. And, you know, it, it, it was pretty simple, guys. You know, the trees were everywhere. So over here, I have a big water fountain. Why? I don't know. No reason, guys. I just have a big water fountain, so, um, yeah, we have a, uh, I actually don't know where this leads, but we're not gonna touch that right now, okay? So, over here is my base, and it's not the prettiest looking base in the world, but it's my base, I made it, it is mine, let's go up to the entrance. By the way, a small sneak peek of what the base has to offer, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, you know, small sneak peek, we're gonna go in there soon, but we're gonna go to the, uh, main entrance first by going upstairs. So, as you guys can see, we have just a bunch of, um, Fence gates over here. Thank goodness we actually just went in because 
it just started raining wow okay good luck i guess all right so over here we have a balcony for no reason like i said i just build stuff to build stuff i was just to like kind of overlook the area i guess to look over here to see what would be in the distance so that's a thing and the moment you would walk in here and this is probably one of my earliest like let's play sub walls now basically every episode i think i would add two names to the walls like i would add a question throughout the video and add your name to the wall and all that so let me know if your guys's name is on this wall because that means you guys have literally been watching me for so many years now like this is probably literally before 100k subscribers so uh if you guys are still watching me now, honestly, thank you guys so much for that. You guys are just absolutely insane. So, uh, let me know if your guys' names are on there. So, over here is, uh, you know, just kind of an area to rest, to sleep, and all that. And over here is kind of heading down to my basement area, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I want to show you guys the other basement area first. Or, you know what? No, no. We'll show you guys the upstairs. So, over here, we have stairs literally just going up here, and we have stairs going down. Now, these stairs going down actually lead to a village on my right. Like, literally, it leads to a village. Again, no blacksmiths. Again, this is one of those less plays, which is, you know, like, kind of some insane, um, amplified world terrain going on here. And no blacksmiths, which kind of sucks, but I got a village again, so... I guess I got I got lucky with some let's plays with having village seeds and all that. So let me know what you guys think about that. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right. So let, let, let's keep showcasing everything else. Over here was actually our nether portal, which we're actually going to go into a little later in the video. Over here is kind of like a grill patio area, I guess. This room here, I don't know what it was going to be, but I'm pretty sure I had plans into making this into a pretty important room. What room? I have no clue, but this was going to be our room, ladies and gents. And, uh... Yeah, so, yeah, and uh, these stairs actually connect to another area that we're actually going to, like, show you guys in a little bit. But, uh, just, you know what, we're going to go, we're just going to go here. Actually, no, this just goes down here and then goes back up for no reason at all, so, yeah. Okay, you know what, forget what I said. I just can't remember because it's been so long since I built this world, all right? So, down here, let's go to one of our basement areas first. Uh, I think going through this right here just lets me, uh, oh, sweet, okay, that worked out. It lets me guide and go in this area here. Um, over here was basically my XP farm where I would, you know, I think the spider X, no, it's a skeleton XP farm. If you guys don't know how an XP farm works, basically these, uh, skeletons are gonna go in that hole in there. Uh, what? Why aren't you going in? Buddy, what are you? Wait, wh why aren't you guys going in the hole? Guys, in the hole. There we go, alright. Oh, they're attacking each other. You know what? I'm gonna cover it out. Basically, when they go into hole, I think they go... Wait. Is this broken, actually? Wait. This might be broken now, because I don't think skeletons can swim anymore, right? So... This water elevator actually doesn't work anymore, so... Uh, okay, we have a... Okay, what used to happen is the skeletons used to go down there. They would go up here, fall down here, and... I used to be able to get XP here, but because of the updates, um, these don't work anymore because it's no longer possible for skeletons to swim up water. And but you guys see all the bones, all the armor, and um, I don't know why they always dropped enchanted armor, so that was insane. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm wearing gold armor right now. And what's this? I don't know. Oh, I remember this. This was my trash can. I would just throw anything in here, and it would like basically fall into lava and burn. So uh. Yeah, I made a redstone trash can, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And this area was going to be a pretty big area, but I think I stopped working on this Let's Play, like, you know, before I even worked on, like, stuff here. So, yeah, th that's the thing, guys. So, um, wow, okay, I really don't remember much, guys. Like, this Let's Play was probably one of my, uh, more fun ones, too, in all honesty. So, over here, again, like I said, a lot of these areas had a lot of plans for them, but I stopped the Let's Play before we started getting to those plans, so... Sorry about that, um, yeah, over here is actually a nothing either, yeah, like I said, I, one of those things where I plan stuff out and it just doesn't work out, okay, so, uh, let's skip into the next thing, ladies and gents, so if we go upstairs again, we're gonna go back to where, you know, we had those, um, sub wall and all that, y you guys saw earlier, okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, so don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, um, wow, wait, how low was this area? Huh. Oh, wait, that's right. I dug that low, ended up in that area, and found that, uh, spawner so I could work on it. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Infinite water thing here. Um, what's in this chest? I know I have some stuff in these chests. Ooh, okay. Alright. Anyways, down here, if we go straight down here, um, we are actually gonna encounter my enchantment room 
area. So first of all, you guys can see I have like a lot of obsidian because I collected a lot of obsidian, you know, doing this stuff. We have a lot of books to work on because we did have an enchantment room area right here where we could just enchant, you know, stuff and all that. And I think this over here was a second sub wall. And the reason there was a second sub wall was because I used to stream this on like an old streaming thing. And whenever I would stream, I would add your guys' name here. Oh wait, no, this was the continuation of the sub wall, I'm pretty sure. Because that one like ran out of room and I just started adding names here instead. Okay, never mind. Um, nether portal, by the way. We're, we're going to go into nether in a bit, guys. Don't worry. I think that's the last thing I'm going to show you guys. But, um, okay. So, if we go over here, you guys can see, like, this is, like, an area I love to work on. We had a really nice cave area here, so I decided to just work on this area here. And I believe just streaming sub wall was right here. Yeah, so, yeah, this was definitely my streaming sub wall, because I remember some of these names. Um, actually, I, I know, like, three of these names, I think. These guys are actually friends of mine now, so that's pretty cool. Shiny, nerdy, Alondra, so... Yeah, um, yeah, so I used this as, this was kind of like the central hub for me, to be completely honest with you guys, um, because I, just, just look at it, guys, okay, wait, wait, after I kill this guy here, just look at it, like, what did you guys just want to hang out here, right? Okay, okay, now let me show you guys what this area was. So, we got the bed here, I usually just slept over here, you know, we have our furnaces, we have our stone cutters, and down here is we, just a bunch of chests, because we made a potato, carrot, and wheat farm with this automatic farm over here, which, you know, check this out. Yeah, guys, I, if you guys look through this glass, you guys can actually see the redstone I did, so, let me know what you guys think. I left that there, because, you know, I wasn't too good at redstone, but the fact I was able to make this, honestly, I thought it was pretty legit, so, I, I cannot do redstone like this anymore. I know this looks super basic for a lot of you guys, but, you know, I made a fully automated redstone, like, you know, uh, farm thing, so... Let me know what you guys think about that. You guys know how these work. Basically, you just, you know, you put your thing there, and then we had enough block space to do this. Turn on the water. The water would push, you know, the crops down here. And I would just collect it standing here. So I would basically wait for all these things to grow or bone meal them myself. So, uh, yeah, that was a cool thing. Now, in here was actually my chest room. I would tell me what you guys think. I thought this was a pretty cool chest room. We have a cool little, um, you know, viewing point from out here. You walk in here. You have some chests. You know, I was actually fairly organized. I don't know, man. Like, do you guys see all that cobblestone for strip mining? All these, uh, wood from, you know, just cutting trees down. Oh, my gosh, dude. Like, this Let's Play was, like, probably one of my more super hard working one and ooh, we had some good armor here i think this was my good armor i made um spencer uh haterless i remember i did this in a stream these two used to like watch me so much man like i really appreciated these two um and yeah so that's about it for this area here we have an almost broken anvil stone cutter like you guys will see how old these worlds are and yeah and we have a cool little I guess sugarcane farm is going here. And if you guys don't remember what this is, this goes literally straight to the entrance. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know, man. All right. So over here, um, we just had some sugarcane from over here because you know I would just collect it like this, and then plop. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. Now over here was actually kind of like a shop area I made. I don't know why, but let me know what you guys think. Kind of like a small inside bar restaurant kind of thing. So. I thought it was cool. I don't know. I just built it for no reason, honestly. Um, there we go. Over here was our cow farm. Yep. And over here was our sheep farm. And I was a little mad because I remember I'm literally waiting forever for, like, this grass to grow over here. So, because the sheep will not grow its wool back if it doesn't do that. So, um... Yeah, that's something to note, guys. All right. So now over here, the one last thing I have to show you guys is, I guess, the nether, ladies and gentlemen. Because I don't think I built too much in this world aside from the base. Like, over here, was literally completely focused on my base. And we did have another hub look like it. I actually forgot I built another hub here. Wow, do I have anything here? I did have some stuff here. Wow, okay, so I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, as you guys can see, my builds are kind of burning because I guess the gas attacked it. It doesn't look like I built a lot in the nether either, but... Whatever, man. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for showcasing both these worlds. I'm pretty sure I still have one more, like, super hidden. How do I... Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, I had fence gates there. I don't know why I did that, but I did. But, um, let me know what you guys thought, guys. Like, I really want to showcase my old worlds to you guys, because, you know, um, I showed you guys the first one, and you guys seem to really, really enjoy it, and really, really love the builds I made there, and honestly, thank you guys so much for that. These two Let's Plays were created, like, you know, one after the other, and, I don't know, I feel kind of bad I never, like, stayed committed to a world for longer than... I don't know, like, 
nothing longer than 50 episodes, and I feel like I definitely could have gone far with these ones, because these ones literally ended after 20, 30 episodes, but I feel like I did a good amount. So um, let me know which world was, you know, your favorite out of these two. Was it the first world, or was it this world, you know, first or second world? Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys thought about the worlds in general, and I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys want me to go back to these worlds to maybe, I don't know, continue one of them or something, or maybe just do other stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video, and peace. Bye, guys.